what just happened? We just asked a billion questions to a paleontologist. I never imagined that making a chore chart would be so motivating for Canyon. This is our back porch. That is a silver fox. Wait, what? Do you think if your feet got underneath there, that it would chop them off? What do you guys see <laughs> underneath of there? Okay, Ads, let's check all this stuff first. Okay. We need gas. Can you go grab the gas in there really fast? Yeah. I don't remember how old Branson was when we first started teaching him to mow the lawn. He was pretty young. I'm certain it was at least eight or nine. So very similar to what, where Az is at, between Az and Canyon. So I decided it was a good opportunity to start getting them to learn how to mow the lawn. You guys have seen it. We actually have people that, uh, a really good crew that would mow our lawn before at our other house. And having somebody else do the work is great and it looks great and they do a good job. And um, I mean, if you can afford it, it's incredible not to have to do that work, but there's something to be said about the actual work. And so I decided once we moved to this house that I was not going to hire a crew to uh, mow the lawn and, um, and, and keep it up and do all the weeds. And, and it's, it's been neglected um, because, you know, I don't have the time to do it. Well, it's all about making the time. So the best part is, is that I can work with the kids on it, teach them to work, teach them to, you know, to know what to expect, those kinds of things. And it's much better than hiring somebody, at least at this point, so I can, I can work with them and, and teach them how important it is to take care of something. We've had some comments recently like, you guys, enough with the bread. Guess what? I remember a story about my dad um, working next to a bread store and he said that they went there so much to eat the bread. And I remember that story. I think it's important to document this part of our life. Even if it is temporary, I don't think it's temporary. This is one of my favorite things to eat. In fact, I don't eat breakfast. I typically don't eat lunch unless it's a slice of bread and then I'll eat dinner. Right now I'm just trying to eat more healthy and, and uh, part of that is to be doing this intermittent fasting. I can't resist bread. Three minutes, right? Yeah. Awesome, thanks. thanks. Bye. Bye. Guys, what just happened? We just asked a billion questions to a paleontologist. Yeah. A real paleontologist. A real paleontologist oh, yeah. from where? A real paleontologist from, from where? where? From Smithsonian. Smithsonian, did you guys know that is like the coolest That's the biggest museum, museum in the world. The biggest museum in the world in Washington, D.C. Wow, so that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Nobody gets to do that. That was like, so cool. I know. I'm like behind like, can I ask a question? <laughs> I know. Holy cow, that was amazing. so that's cool. Amazing. And she was so smart. Don't you guys want to be inside? Whoa, oh she my gosh, was. she like didn't even have to think about your question. She just like knew every answer. About Except it. for not every answer. She knew everything. She yeah, she, she just said like sometimes it was hard, but she still had she a good answer for she, every question. Yeah, wow. sometimes there wasn't an answer yeah. for the question. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes she'd she, say like that answer is kind of hard, and then she would answer it, and yeah. then yeah. Amazing. Science. Science. Science is so cool. Dinosaurs are so cool. That That's going to be you as one day. Mm -hmm. Is that a fox? Mm -hmm. It's a fox. Silver fox. In our backyard. That is so cool. You see it right there? Yeah. That's so cool. It's about the size of grids. Maybe just a little uh -huh. bit smaller. It just like glides across yeah. the roads. Oops. That is so cool. So it goes along the fence and just runs along the backside of the fence. I love foxes. Okay, looks like we're getting pretty level over here. This area right here, this is actually leveler. This is stuff that they put down to level between this and that over there because it was so uneven with the 
concrete and everything that's there, this looks pretty good. So one of the issues that we had with our floor before is that they had, there was a half inch gap between that area and the center of that area and then back to this area. It went up a half inch and back down a half inch. And uh, that was really difficult to, to put flooring in. And so it's being done right this time. You guys probably remember about eight months ago, nine months ago, we had flooring put in and um, it was not done correctly. And so that's why we took it out. And this is being done correctly. This is, before you put flooring down, you have to make sure everything is completely flat and smooth and it was not before and the floor was put over it. And we had a lot of areas that were lifted up or down and, and it just wasn't, it, it, it was not the way it's supposed to be. So that is how you do it right. But we have so much to do because we're leaving tomorrow. And so we need to divide, divide and conquer. Are you ready? Let's go. Twelve hours later, twelve hours, uh, probably more like thirteen hours later. Here we are, as in Canyon. Now know the basics of mowing a lawn, so it's time to put it to the test. I told them that they get to mow the backyard. Now, the backyard, you can see, we've got some areas that the grass is not growing, uh, and uh, it's not doing very well at all. Partially because of the dogs, partially because of the heat, partially because we haven't actually given it any uh, anything to grow. Uh, but there's areas that are growing and growing tall. And so what we're gonna do, let them mow it, mow it probably pretty low, and then I've gotta put some fertilizer on it after watering it. You ready for this? You ready to do it all by yourself with Canyon? You ready? Yep. Okay, go get the lawnmower. It's on the side of the house over there. Hold on to it. Here we go, ready? Empty that. It's not time yet, but how did you do? Good. Okay, as a turn? Yeah. Okay, as come on, you hit the barbecue, yo. You hit the smoker. <laughs> I mowed all around the How was it? Fun. Pull this, right? Yep. Now pull the blue. I might have to do that one for you for right now. Okay. Something really quick, boys. Listen, listen. I want you to come look at this. <laughs> Tell me what you see. What do you guys see underneath of there? A uh, thing that looks like it would spin okay. to cut the grass. It's a blade. Mm -hmm. If that thing's going as fast as a helicopter, do you think if your feet got underneath there that it would chop them off? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you think the rules should be with people around the lawnmower? Don't go around the lawnmower. Or dogs. That's why the bag is at the end. There's no way for your feet to go up underneath of there, right? And that's why this handle's back here. So if the dog, if you're running it and the dogs are around or somebody's around it, what do you do? Stop. Stop immediately. Stop. Stop. Let go of that handle as fast as possible. What do you do if the lawnmower's going? Um. If you're not running it, what do you do? What? Stay off the grass. Don't go near that lawnmower. And also make Because what if you, what if he's going and you trip and fall and your foot goes underneath there, what happens? Or and your hand my, or, or something else. Or like my hair or my... Anything. Maybe my head. Maybe we... Why Why don't... What do we do when the lawnmower's running? Stay not on the grass. Not near the lawnmower, right? Yeah. Okay. Good job. Good job, guys. Ta-da! Woohoo! All I need to do is finally the first one fully done. Woohoo! As as get surprised, as get surprised. Canyon hasn't 
clean TV room. I gotta brush, brush my teeth. teeth. Good job, buddy. Ooh. All right, Az, choose something out of there. Wait, what is this? I want this. Okay. I love these. Great job. You did it. You got 10 stars. Whoa, 10 stars. Good job, bud. Good job. Okay, clean up TV room. And then I get a prize! Yep. I never imagined that making a chore chart would be so motivating for Canyon. We said that we would like make rules or whatever for how many stickers and what the prize is, but the boys kind of made their own rule. So if they do all of their things in one day, they get a treat or a prize. And I am totally fine with that because I have this bucket full of candy that no one ever remembers it's there and it never gets into and half the time, like after six months, I'll throw stuff away and we'll put more candy in. And So this is a perfect prize bucket and if they're motivated to get things done to get a prize, I am 100% on that. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. I have an announcement to make. You bought a garbage truck. She didn't get a, uh, she, he did get a limo. See? I bought a, I bought a limousine today. Is that Jean's car? That's Jean's truck. Pretty cool, <laughs> huh? Gino's towing. <laughs> That's funny. That's a nice truck. Um, mm -hmm. So here we go. You bought a limousine. A limousine. It's not a nice limousine. It, <laughs> it needs some work. It's for destroy it. But I have something it's else for you guys. Movie stars. I'm just kidding. Movie stars. <laughs> um, are you guys ready for this? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? This is our back porch. Is that a coyote? That is a silver fox. Wait, what? Did you see it? Yeah. Did you see it? <gasps> we watch, just watch, watch. Oh my gosh, is it still there? No, this was six o'clock this morning. Oh wow. How cool is that? That's, That's so cool. cool. I was definitely not expecting no that. No way, how cool is that? <laughs> this is the coolest thing, look. <laughs> Are you truly ready for this? Whoa, fox? Is that it's a fox? A silver fox. That's so cool. <laughs> Guess when you That's so something cool. that he bought the other day. Lizzie did not. Oh, I did not know about that. I told her about it and so she was like, no, well, no. You're and you That's so cool. Saw that? That's the surprises I have. That's awesome. <laughs> Yes! I'm done! Yay! Now you get a freaking prize! It's almost midnight, or no, it is midnight, and since we're leaving tomorrow, I'm not gonna have time in the morning to do any of my stuff in my chore chart. So, since it's midnight, it's technically tomorrow, so I'm gonna do all my stuff that I can do for my chore chart tonight, and so it, my mom said it would count, and so, yeah. I'm going to do all the stuff for my chore chart right now, and so it technically counts for tomorrow. Okay, my room's all clean. Not Lizzie's part. She's made a bunch of mess in my room, but my part's all clean except for I need to put my phone away still. But anyways, so now I have all my stuff done for today, all of today. It's the end of another day. <laughs> and my room's a disaster, and my bathroom's a disaster, and my closet's a disaster, and I need to do my laundry, and there's just there's a lot I still need to do. But guess what? The day's over, so I can't do anything else. I can, but I'm going to choose not to. I'm going to choose to just start it tomorrow. Let tomorrow be a restart day, I guess. I'm going to be honest with you, today was not a good day. And I've been trying to do things to make it better. Like, I did a lot more book stuff. I added to my psychopath wall, which I don't know why this makes more sense to me and why it's more organized to me, but it is. Um, I worked on more book stuff and I played my piano for a while, which was really nice. And then I just spent the rest of the day kind of to myself. I did get stuff done and I do feel like it was progressive stuff. Book stuff. I'm working on book two. We're finishing editing book one, so it's going to be out hopefully soon. Keep an eye out for that, I guess. I'm going to try to make tomorrow a lot better. I'm going to be completely honest. I have zero motivation to do anything tomorrow. Like right now, I have no motivation. But I think I'm going to reach out to a friend and say, hey, let's go walk our horses together tomorrow. And 
clean my room and do my laundry because tomorrow's a new day and there's nothing I can do about today except just say, let's move on. That's my message for today is if you're having a rough day, tomorrow is a different day. I'm not gonna say a better one because you have to decide to make it a better one. It's not just gonna be a better one just by expecting it to be a better one. You have to decide to make it a better one. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed and I guess we'll see what tomorrow brings. So good night you guys or good morning, whatever it is for you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day or night or morning or whatever. And never forget that you are worth it. Bye guys.